Hi, Amy Porterfield here, and I'm going to quickly show you how to create a list using the new Twitter list tool. So by now, most everybody should have access to the Twitter list, even though it's still in beta. But if you go to your homepage, you should find this new box on the very top of your homepage. All you need to do is click Create a New List. And now you get to name your list. So let's say we're going to name ours Top Bloggers. Automatically, the default is public, so you want to keep it there so everybody else can see your list, and you just hit Create List. Once you do that, it will bring you to a page where you actually can choose the people you want to start adding. So let's say we want to add Pro Blogger to our list. We do a search, we find Pro Blogger here, and right here in this drop down menu, you click and find your list. So we're going to find Top Blogger. The other ones listed I've already created a few days ago. So authors who tweet, publishers who tweet, and social media experts. And I already added Darren to social media experts. So that's why you see it clicked here. So once we add Darren, let's go ahead and add the bloggers as well. So you do a search for the bloggers and just do the drop down menu, hit Top Bloggers. Now she's included. So what you can do is when you go, you add a few people to your list and you go back to your home page. And what you will see is on the right, Twitter's changed a few things on the right column to accommodate the new Twitter list. So one thing you'll see is down here, all my lists, all the, the one we just created here is here, plus the other ones I created a while back. So also, a great feature is if you start following other people's lists, it will appear here as well. So I'll show you how I did that. I'm following one of Mike Stelzner's lists. Also on the right column you'll see is a new link called Listed. And these are all the people that have listed me in their list. If you click on that, you'll see the list that people have included you in. So someone included me in bloggers or social media or writer resources. So this is a great way to get exposure when people start including you in their lists. If you click this tab here that says Lists You Follow, this will show me all the lists I've created and all the lists I'm following. So if I want to follow authors who tweet, if I want to check that out, the great thing about this is now I'm only getting the stream of people that are authors who tweet. So it really allows you to narrow in to follow and start listening to the people you really care about and you want to hear from. Another great thing is you can add to your list very easily. So let's say we go up here and we want to add Chris Garrett to our blogger list. Oops, I need to take my name out of there. So let's say we want to add Chris Garrett to the blogger list. So all you need to do is now on everybody's profile page, you'll find the drop down menu. You click the drop down menu, click on the list you want to add him to, and now he's on your list. So it's as easy as that. Now, like I said, you can find other people's lists as well. So let's go to, um, let's go back to Mike Stelzner, because I know he has some lists he's just created. And he created a list called Copywriting Gurus. So over here on the right, I'm going to click on his list. And if I look at this list and I seem to like the people that are on it and I want to start following it, all I need to do is click this button, follow this list. Now I'm following his list. And like I mentioned before, his list will now appear on my profile page. So I go down here and it shows that I'm following social media and his copywriting list. So it's really easy to follow other people's lists. And what you want to do is you want to create some really great lists that other people are going to want to follow as well. It's a great way to add value. So there you have it. It's very easy to create lists and follow other people's lists. So I hope you'll try it out today and enjoy. Take care.